different. Dude, we're bikers. Oh, we're bikers. Are we wearing so we all gotta drive bikes? Good evening, everybody. It's Saturday night. It's June 3rd. We're already halfway through this year almost. It's 2017. We're here on Al Basra. We're running a one life event. We like to call it Squad Ops. My name is Muff. I'm going to be talking at you guys all night. And I'm sorry for that. I guess you, this is what you get, though. <laughs> We're running a new event. First time broadcasting this event. And it's on Albus Raw. We've got one here before, but this one is called Operation Stampede. And it's pretty interesting. You're going to like it. What we've got going on is the USA are going to be on the defense and the insurgents are going to attack. Now, it doesn't show, but there are going to be three fob locations. I'm going to mark them. Just one right up here. One right in here, I think. And then they got another one up here. So that's where the U.S. are going to have their three fobs. So we got Bravo 5, we'll call it Delta 5, and Delta 4. And the insurgents have to attack them. They get plenty of shit to attack. They can use all these vehicles you see right here that they choose to. They get vehicle scrounge, so you'll see them picking up motorbikes. It's not going to be... I, I, I'm guessing we're going to see a, you know, a vehicle IED coming in, a vehicle-mounted IED. So... That's going to be coming coming real good. Other than that, uh, they've been doing some briefing. We got a full server. We got 38 on 38, 39, 39. We're going to have a lot of people. It's a good one. And let me go over some of the basics. Both teams start at main. The U.S. get those three fobs in those locations I showed. The, the insurgents have to destroy two of them. If the, insurgent, if the insurgents are able to destroy two of the fobs, they get a fall back to village, and then the U.S. is put on to the offensive. Uh, vehicles must use bridges. Infantry do not have mobile restrictions. But deep water is pretty bad, so you're going to see people avoiding the deep water. Try to get out of this chatter. Um, Yeah, and actually, I think we're going to get all four fobs because we've got a full server. So there's going to be another fob like up here in Foxtrot 3, I think. So you, you can look to see a squad at each fob, maybe. And the insurgents have to destroy two. It's going to be interesting. This is an all-out. It's called Operation Stampede for a reason. It's going to take a heavy, aggressive, and coordinated effort by the insurgents to win. It is definitely catered to the U.S. We, we played this earlier today in the EU session. And the U.S. just thoroughly dominated. They actually made some tweaks and fixed it up a little bit. Gave the insurgents a little better chance. So it'll be good. It's going to be a good one. Let's go over command. I'm following the insurgents because they're attacking. And it's going to be interesting to see their tactics, how they utilize the motorbikes that they can scrounge in the city, and their overall plan of approach. For the most part, the U.S. are going to be camping locations. They might have some Humvees roaming around, but but they're going to be uh, on the defense. That's why I like to stay on the offensive side and follow them. So I'll be following the insurgents both sides, both rounds. But these insurgents, round one, are led by uh, a fairly unknown guy. Uh, his name is Ops Karmacut. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard of him. I don't know if you guys have either. We'll see how he does. Uh, fairly new to the scene as far as I can tell. I uh, really don't know too much about this guy. Uh, he's got some good squad leaders, though. Some guys who really know what they're they're doing. And that would be Shadowed Ritual, CMYK Matter, Xbit, and Hutch. Uh, that's Hammering Hutch. He designs a lot of these ops. However, he did not design this one. I think Xbit designed this one. I'm not sure. I, I shouldn't be giving credit out because I don't know who did it, actually. Uh, but but we're going to have a good good coordination, good communication, I'm guessing, from the insurgent side. Uh, during round one for uh, I was actually on the US side at the start of this and I heard them briefing and their commander is Kirkley and Kirkley has commanded plenty of times before he's he's fully capable and he's got fully capable squad leaders in Satan Truth Realm Ben Bot, and he's also got Google Tricks so those three guys or those four squad leaders all very Competent. Eh, eh, we're just, just going to be a good one. It's going to be a real good one. Especially having a full server, a lot of full squads. It's going to be crazy. 
Uh, we've got a few cameras, two, four, six, seven, or eight or something. Now I'm going to run through them really quick here. Since we've got time, we might as well give them a, a five seconds of fame. So we'll, we'll go to one, and uh, we'll just bounce through. And we'll start with Google Trex, who's the squad leader for the U.S. We've also got CMYK Matter. Who yeah, is a squad leader for the insurgents? Copy. Point time. Mainly, what you're doing Copy. Is, is warding off the the QRF. Following one is a squad Copy. leader for the U.S. Our, our His name is Truth Realm. Humpy trucks. Uh, biggest thing, watch out for suicide. Next up, another squad leader. This time really for the insurgents. Those, so definitely We've got Xbit. So which point one and two will be in the next. Let's keep the trend going. Another squad leader. This is also an insurgent squad leader named Shadowed Ritual. Uh, we've got a well-known name in Hyper Evo. You know what team? I'm supposed to join. Uh, and last team, but not uh, least, I think it's another squad answer. leader. Right. Am I able to relaunch and get back in my squad or no? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got yeah, another yeah. squad leader for the U.S. this time. It's Benbot16. Sure really and and then we do have one more. He's a little guy from up in Alaska named Pugachev. So that's a good two, four, six, eight, eight cameras or so, plus me flying around. Now it's going to be interesting. I, I know in the first, the first time we ran this operation earlier today, the insurgents just got throttled, and I mean it's easy to tell why. All those U.S. fobs, they're out in the middle of the desert, right here. Right here, right here, and then one up there. So it's wide open. It's hard to get access to. The, the insurgents do get to vehicles ground, so they get to use everything. They've got an artillery truck. They don't really get anything else. So they don't get mortars. They get a couple of lats, though, I believe. And so, I mean, they're, they're going to be doing... They're, they're going to have to throw themselves in there and take some casualties to destroy these fobs. But if they can do that, then then it could work uh, to their to their advantage. On the other hand, the U.S. have got it pretty good. They get those Humvees. They can dig in. They get two Logi dumps, so they can put they can build mortars or 50 cals or sandbags or Hescos, whatever they want, whatever they see fit. Uh, we saw some mortars earlier today, and they seem to work out pretty well. Uh, definitely kept the insurgents moving around, and. Uh, unorganized. So this will be good to see. And we haven't seen any briefing yet. But we could soon. I like the squad names. Shadowed Ritual always names his squad the Empire. CMYK Matter usually has something with matter in it like material girls x bit has extra bits that's funny hutch has hutch's hunters and of course karma cut names his squad command you know he's new to the scene he hasn't come up with a really clever name yet or anything so maybe we'll see something good at him oh yeah yeah i'll go i'll go over the first uh, operation here shortly sam Sham. Uh, the Devil's Guard, Satan. That's a fitting name for his squad. Truth Realm has named his squad Bing. He, he usually comes up with a different name all the time. Ben Bot named Lima Alpha Tango. That's L-A-T. So someone's got the lat in there. And then Google Trex named his squad Google It. Nah, that makes sense. All right. Well, I, I played in the first operation today. I don't get to play a lot anymore because I commentate all the time. But it was a lot of fun in... In the first operation, the insurgents kind of spread out a little bit and spread their forces out and just got freaking rocked wherever they went because it's so open. And the U.S. are sitting there waiting. They're just waiting, looking out, looking for everything they can possibly see. And so it's so hard to get, to get any sort of forward progress on that without taking casualties. But it, it, in round two... The, the insurgents stayed together. Now, unfortunately, I was on the far western fob, and the far eastern fob is the one that got attacked. But 
they the U.S. or the insurgents swarmed, came together, and and were able to eliminate one fob before they got wiped out. Uh, trying to get the second one, uh, the server was not full. It wasn't. There was about I don't know fifty some players. So now we've got almost eighty total, which means there's going to be a lot more action, a lot more to worry about, and there's the extra fob locations. So this fob up in Foxtrot 3 was not there earlier today due to lower numbers. So this it can be adjusted proportionally if need be. Oh, we got an insurgent briefing going on right now. We're going to cut over to it and listen. See what their Fuck. plan's going to be. Fuck. Okay, so we're going to get this third cache. This is how it's going to happen. For the first couple minutes, we're going to scavenge all the vehicles. Okay? We'll get the... Vehicles lined up in a column on the two Humvee mark. The only vehicles on this Lodgy mark will be the two bikes from Squad 1 and Squad 2 ready to uh, attach an IED. They will not have it attached until Command gives them the call. When Command gives them the call, they will then attach the V-Bits, but don't worry about that. The RD truck is going to be over on the mortar mark. This is our staging positions, okay? Now, the uh, the plan here is RD truck will get ranged on the enemy FOB, right? Once the RD truck is ranged, we're, we're, prepared, we're prepared to fire for effect. I will call for the IDs to be attached. IDs will be attached to both Squad One and Squad Two's bikes, and I will call go, which means squad all the vehicles, both the mid squad as well as the mechanized infantry on the MSR in Al Basra, will push directly from their pauses to the cache. As you guys are pushing, you will hear rounds from our RD truck outbound Wait, over your head. Hey, are you the one that's is going to be perfect? Trying to, trying to connect? I'm trying to. That you can get in close with the V-bids. Rounds will land. Will land detonate. V-bids will push in. Hit the walls. Detonate. Then mechanize infantry on top of the cache ASAP. Okay? That squads one and two on top of that cache. We'll breach with aggression. Dismantle the fob. And then stand by for the next phase. While this is going on with squads one and squads two, squad three will be taking their mech, uh, their technicals and pushing pushing to set up a blockade position north of the bridge squad four will set up their blockade position with their technicals south of the uh, fob so three and four will be supporting the main assault from the flanks of the north and south as well as dismantling and uh, deterring enemy qrf from the second and fourth checkpoint okay so three and four are deterring and setting up a perimeter while one and two breach and clear all right now, the um, for, as soon as we have that compound clear, Squad 1 and 2 will mount back up and push north to the new FOB mark. Okay? Once that's clear, we'll bound out uh, to the east by least engaged unit, whether that's 3 or 4. Uh, and we'll start heading towards that last cache, in which we'll pretty much do the same thing. Soften it up with Artie, and then hit it with uh, V-Bids, and then Breach. Okay, so one and two, you guys are infantry squads, you guys are breaching shit. Three and four, mainly on QRF, support, uh, deterrent, um, as well as, you know, anti-Humvee squads. And then command's going to be in the arty truck, with the arty truck, uh, softening up targets. Copy. Copy. Are there any questions? You look beautiful. Uh, alright, so I'll call it here. Squad leaders, go ahead and break them out. Thanks, for all right, boys. Uh, we'll take All right, well, we got uh, on alleys and, uh, the uh, the briefing for the insurgents. Here, they have got no, some okay. coordinated plans going on. I don't know if you heard it all, but I'll try and break it down real quick for you. Okay. Uh, I see, yeah, it's Karma Cut versus Kirkley. So Karma Cut was throwing the info out there. Yo, who kicked Kai? And they're going to they're gonna get squads one and two, which are Google Trex and Benbot squads are going to basically begin the push with their vehicles uh, or their their motorbikes, if nothing else. And in the meantime, they're going to be raining artillery with the technical. And I just, I'll, I missed which fob it was going to be, so I don't know which one it's going to be, but for the most part, they're going to have IED mounted motorcycles and artillery raining in, and they're just going to go in big. It's all they can do. They have to. It is. It requires aggression by the insurgents. It really does. So once we go live, it's going to be crazy. We'll see if 
I mean, the insurgents know where they're at, so they probably should be just getting into positions Next quick and early. One, Mike, Copy. Oh yeah, we have a giveaway. I totally forgot we have a giveaway Mike, tonight. Let me start this up. One, Copy zero, zero. All right. Everyone know where they're going? Picking out your routes? Let's get this shit done. All right, there we go. I got her set up. We're good to go. We're live at 1.30. 30 seconds. That's in 30 seconds. Engine on. 30 seconds. Sure the engine is there. All right, so all you have to do is talk in the Twitch chat and you'll get registered. Yep, you never know. You never know, and and the way you can the way you win is it's actually a uh, one of my admin team guys named Mighty. He's got an extra copy on Steam, so he can't actually give you a key for it. He's gonna have to gift it to you through Steam. And uh, and actually, Nasty Nate won it last week, but he's already got the game, so he donated it back for someone else to win this week. Hey, we got time to stage, so don't rush. And we're live, by the way, as you can see. Insurgents piling out everywhere. They're getting in every single vehicle. Stage, so don't freak out. Cop copy. The give the giveaway Rasta Mouse is just a, a copy of Squad. Sure you would get a, a copy of Squad gifted to you in Steam. Squad, this very game right here that we're watching. Or if you want, you can just. You can have them gift it to one of your friends who doesn't have the game. So I'm just kind of following the front guys here. They're probably going to head up towards outskirts, maybe, and right, start scouting. Essentially, bro, it's Delta Echo Line and 6-7 Line, one keypad south of the 6-7 Line. That's your spot. Keep following them. I hear Hutch and Karma Cut communicating. They're asking about things, I think. Hutch is probably going to be in that arty truck. It's fairly deadly with it. All right, you guys are on some some U.S. guys. All right, Logi, go supply it. Everybody else, hold security. As you can see, I'm getting way over the top of them here. You can see them moving into their compounds. They're going to have four fobs in place. They'll get them placed. Now the thing is, they only get two Logi dumps, so Remember they've got two Logi trucks and two transports, so they can park one at every give it a uh, at every fob, and it'll look like an empty Logi truck, but they only get a Logi dump on two of them. And for the most part, you can expect to see some mortars, and who knows what else. dismounted. Squad one set. So I should say in Gunner. Here we go. We yeah, I can see the insurgents pushing out a little bit. Oh, who do we got on this Artie truck? We've got the Gaming Brennan, the Gaming Brennan and Ezta, looks like. Towards the compound, one, two, check in when your vehicles are in place and ready for IDs. Up. Maybe one degree off from the north. We'll do. Copy. Hold. Squad Ooh, four. their angle looks by. pretty good. Angle looks pretty good. That looks good. I heard some motorbikes going. They're probably going to get ready to strap some IEDs onto those. Just Karma cut himself right there, buzzing around on the motorcycle. Grow, 
Sounds like some of these insurgents are getting half delusional. They're starting to sing random song Just lyrics. Hey, get these wee bits right around. They're, they're mixing like, them, Journey uh, with Pop. Or again, uh, with one, new Pop. I just don't know who sings that other song. Look at all these vehicles. They're just kind of waiting. They're staging. Getting stationed. Alright. For the most part, they're getting recon. Karma cuts up top. This big seven story. Or eight, or whatever it is. He's working his way up. Oh, there goes a couple. A couple already shots. Can you not mount two people? On it the appears they're gonna attack this one deal? first up here. You can. I just saw one already hit the again. river. You've got already bound on your location, so watch out. Yep, copy that. <laughs> Ironically, that's why I didn't hear you. Google. <laughs> it's heat stroke muff, says Jack. Yeah, that's it's probably what it is. Hey, big Jimmy, Especially in the back of one of them little techies. AR watching can of metal sitting out in the sun. It's hot. Copy that. Someone to take over gun. That that vehicle's gonna be on a quick reaction force in case one of the fobs gets hit. Fucking Here comes hard. some more. I'll let you know. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, so if they split the difference with their. With that arty techie, they'll be good. I see where they're rocking. Yeah, I don't even have the game uh, as D67. So what what'll happen is whoever wins, we're gonna be direct south of me. It's gonna be through Steam, not Twitch or anything. So as long as you're here, we'll give you the guy to get in contact with. His name's Mighty. It'll be at the end of round two. All vehicles push, 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 push. All right, vehicles are pushing. Here we go. We're gonna see the swarm come through. Let the, let the V bids get up. Maybe twenty second head start. Let's get up. Maybe twenty second head start. Then push. see the other bike to your front left. Go, 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 go. Turn, let the V bids get ahead and then push. All right, we've the got some. I see. See, we got some cell phones out. Freaking suicide motorbike. Here we come. It's right here. I'm following it. I got him. It's Alpha Nuff. Alpha Nerf. Oh, here we go. It's the convoy. Hey, Kahuna. Kahuna, wait. Kahuna, wait for a second. I'm following Alpha Nerf. I know he's got an IED. Go, 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 there's a 50 cal shoot. Disc is firing away. Chappie goes down. They got him. Well, there's one suicide IED down. Turner's still in there. Hitchens has got his rocket out. He's looking. He just took a bullet. Turner's holding by himself. A couple of them are already up there. That's La Chapelle and Shadowed Ritual. They are in it. Dentric takes out Shadowed Ritual. La Chapelle takes out Dentric. Looks like Legacy of the Void may have a shot on. Nope, no. La Chapelle got away. One, two, what happened to your vehicle? They blew. Your infantry you should have dismounted it. directly on the fuck. They're yeah, they dismounted did. at the wrong. The Sounds area. like there was a little bit of a miscommunication yeah, led to an error where all of the U.S. are now down in the southern checkpoint area yeah, instead of the actual uh, FOB location, right which is up north here. Go. The only one up here is J. LaChapelle. This is a complete clusterfuck. I don't know. Karma Cut just, just called it a complete cust clusterfuck. I'm moving them now. So he is now worried because their yeah, entire team is in this checkpoint and they don't know where. Oh man. All right, let's see what let's see what happens. They they didn't get away with their big you know smash and grab type of tactic is what it comes down to. Oh, this is just a cluster. Now it's not going too bad for them. They're they're pushing in a little bit. They've got a couple kills. Kill wise, the insurgents have ten, and the U.S. have four. No, I'm sorry, the other way around. The insurgents have four, and the, and the U.S. have eleven now. So the insurgents have taken casualties. Blue, I need you to get those guys' ass in gear and get them inside the compound. Uh, they are going now. That's uh, that's exactly what I said from the beginning. Is that it's 
it's, it takes a very well coordinated effort and everyone has to be on top of it and as you can see the insurgents are paying for jumping out a little early they got a little anxious or maybe a little timid who knows the reason that they actually jumped out so early so you have infantry outside your walls but they're getting in there now we got Agalox getting close here boosted turbos in there and then XF XF takes out one. We got Zako. He's the last one left after Gangrel goes down. And they've actually they're on the mortar, so they've they've disabled their mortar for now. Copy. Four, hold your pause. I need you clearing something on the north now. Sounds like someone's on the fob, maybe digging it. So Everybody's working out the for the insurgents. They're getting a little bit. Tell me when it's down. Six shot Over here. Zako Montano. 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 So, he's in the Guys! He's oh man, Zako's got the last one in there. Oh, he gets shot in the back. It's like it was somebody. XF got him in. Alright, that fob, this fob's probably down. Gotta go. One Humvee is running away. If I bleed out, do I have to go to uh... Yes. You're done. Admin cam, right? A firm. Alright. Yep, I believe it's shift. Shift P. Shift. Shift P. Oh, that's funny, Sham. Everybody you keep a north. notebook with it. I, I write it down every time. I know the events are subject to change, so I always write it down every time. Another U.S. soldier's down, so we are to 17 to 10. The insurgents actually pushed in successfully, wiped out that fob. They've got to take one more out before they fall back to village. Yeah, I got one on the rest. Three's old location. There's no friendlies left there. What do you mean, dude? Left of what bunker? They first. The left of the base we're holding. Oh, yeah. All right, looks like Benbot's bracing for the northern attack that the other Humvees got down to him. All the other U.S. forces are just biding their time. They're chilling out, you know. And it's hard. Do they want to go and help the 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 group being attacked? Do they want to go help that fob? What if they get there too late? Then it's going to be hard. Yeah. So now the insurgents get a little time to regroup. They're going to pick one. They're going to head to the back, head to the north now. Which isn't a bad idea, because the other two fobs are a long ways away, so if it comes down to it and they decide that they need help to the northeast here, it's going to be a, a, you know, a couple minutes before those other forces can get there to reinforce them. So good strategy by the insurgents. They did a good job wiping that middle one. They took some casualties. But for the most part, they've got them outnumbered at this next fob. So if they are able to get over here and take it out, then they're, they have a little hope. Get back down here, see if we can see anything. Looks like Xeno went down from the west. There's that Humvee down there, over there. And that's the biggest thing that the U.S. have is these Humvees. They wrecked, they just shredded in the rounds earlier today, and it looks like they're shredding right now. They are they're the alpha dogs on the battlefield here. Like you can see, the the techies run from him. Oh, except that SPG just hit him. That was a Kai Panda and Karma Cut. Oh, a little overshot with the SPG. They're gonna move up on that Humvee though. It looks like. Hey, I see two lats right here. Another Humvee pushing in from the west, hitting the Arty truck. The Arty Techie is taking shots. That's the gaming Brennan and uh, ZTA, Ezta maybe? Yeah, Ezta. And shooting a couple of low, low range rounds at the Humvee, scared him off. The other Humvee is pushed off to the northeast. Oh, these poor insurgents, they're not in the most Look west, direct west, glorious west. spot here. But, 
place they're going. And where you got hit by the SPG, there's the already truck. Already truck on that mark. There's still a full U.S. squad, two, four, six, doesn't... seven of them here, and that's probably their Humvee up north, with Odessa and Sightless in it. I keep watching south. And here comes the orders to push east. Karma's getting them on their to on their feet, hey, moving, moving. The Get moving. The mortars are walking in. They just reported them to the west. We saw them land back there. SPG techies going east. The the Artie's actually firing to the southwest. Oh, here we go. This techie's gonna run right into that. How many Humvees do we have confirmed? Oh. Odessa and Sightless take out North, right away, North, and North. the Holy Goyak Empire, as well as the techie they were riding in. Yeah. Oh, shit. oh, boosted turbo, you got 20 seconds of combat. Nice, that's better than most people do their first time. They usually don't even get a pull, fire their gun and they get a headshot or something. So. It appears that the Artie Techie has turned its focus to this compound. They're a little off yet, they gotta do a little walking in. Their aim is a little... They're gonna have to go rearm to it, looks like. Bravo, get inside a... pick a little... Pretty quiet on the comms now. I'm, I'm waiting for more, I don't know if you more call outs from Karma Cut. Maybe they're just going to go get the vehicles rearmed a little bit. There's the gaming Brennan lobbing a couple of rockets. He hit the pipeline up there, but, but the infantry is over there. Oh, there is one north. Echo 3 keypad 2. Echo 3 keypad 2. There is a SPG techie behind a building. Behind a All right, here we go. You're going east. <laughs> Karma Cut told Panda to go west, and he started going east. Oh, he's going to be in trouble now. Two Humvees over here. He's wide open. Oh, he's turning towards him. They got him. They popped him right out of there. SPG Techie is dead. Boom. Oh, they'll get it. They'll get it. And it's gone. Well, let's take a quick look here. 23 to 10. So the U.S. just dominating. Where are all the kills coming from, too? Let's take a look. 3B Turner. That's it. And Odessa. Those are the two Humvees. <laughs> that is so Pugachev goes down. Those U.S. Humvees are putting in work. Humvee northeast of uh, Evans. Here comes the Humvee rolling up on the insurgent. Who is this? This is Evans Humvee SMA. 25. On the other side is Little Jin. Evans is going for the one tap on the Humvee gunner. Not quite going to get it. Two Humvees down here now. All right, here's, here's a bunch of the insurgents now under the bridge. Getting some smokes out. Got to do something to mask their pass. Karma Cut calling for the smokes to get out. Karma Cut's pushing the, the push. He's he's really encouraging it. 
And he has to. You have to in a position like this where you guys are kind of worried. You know, they don't know what to expect. They don't know what's up there. Well, nobody does. The enemy doesn't know what's coming at him either, though. More smokes going out, are they? Eh, maybe not. Karma Cut's still leading the way in. I can hear him talking. He's licking him, leading by example. There's Jimmy Big Jimmy and Bajellan left in this compound. You know, once they get this, it's going to be a new part of this game we haven't seen. That poor grenade barely got over the top there, but. All right, Big Jimmy and Karma are going to peek on each other here. Big Jimmy is right there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here comes the here comes Odessa and Sightless in the Humvee. They're in a not good position. Run, run, run! Carvis yelling, run! <laughs> here, oh, down goes Ram. No, that was Alpha Nerf. That's Alpha Nerf. Ram's right there. He's still alive. So they only took one casualty there. Oh, were you in the match? Rival helicopter? Did you make it in there? You did. Yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome to the fray, man. I think the Artie truck went back to rearm Tozaturo. There goes another grenade out. Those are good. Good grenades. Well placed. If nothing else is running them away. All right, but we've got Iron Feast got in there, and he goes down. Taken out by Bajellan on the rooftop in there. Ooh, little Jim gets taken out. Big Jimmy peeking the corner on him. Ram's still in there strong, though. Markio died one minute into the push. Hey, man, that happens. Heck, I led an entire squad or an entire team to death one day. Not my finest moment. Humvee's going north again. Yeah, unfortunately, some people die early. That's how this game goes. But at least you get a watch after you die, you know? You get to go into admin camera and fly around and see what happened. And, you know, it gives you a lot of time. Gives you a lot of time to sit there and think about how bad you screwed up, you know. I've done that a lot where I'm down early. Especially as like a squad leader or something where you're like, oh, I just let my whole team down. All right, so we got Satan, Big Jimmy, and Bajellan holding this compound by themselves. They're actually fighting off the entirety of this insurgent force to the south. And you know what's do you know what the biggest help for this US is is those mobile Humvees driving around. You know, that really is. Let's look at their kills again. Turner has seven or six, I think seven. And then there's somebody else too. Oh, Odessa has nine. Jeez, she is tearing it up. Oh man, I missed the shot on the Humvee. Well, Odessa's dead. Odessa and Sightless finally lose their Humvee. Someone saw it, at least. I hope you guys saw it. I can't wait for that replay, because I didn't see it. <laughs> but the other Humvee's now off to the west. I don't know if they've got this Humvee yet. No, Big Jimmy HD is still here. So is Bajellan. So is Satan. So they're all still there. They've just managed to eliminate the Humvees. 
And I'm not sure who got it. I think it was Jay LaChapelle. I think he's got the the RPG, so good job by him. Oh, big Jimmy takes one finally. He he takes a shot. Yeah, we might get a replay for you, Sham. Who knows? I'm guessing the fob's up here. Maybe I can find it. I don't see it anywhere. Huh. It's got to be in this compound somewhere. Maybe they already took it out. I, c I cannot find their hum or their fob yet. There it is. I found it. And Bajelin goes down. We're now down to Satan and Big Jimmy HD. But now Miami Dade SWAT and Heartbreaker are in the Humvee, and the Humvee takes a shot, rocketed. Jayla Chappelle gets him with another one. They're taking off. They said, nope, see you later. Big Jimmy HD ran right by. Oh, we done. Someone got him. Someone blew him up with something. I don't know what that was. I, I don't know. I think Jay LaChapelle shot him with his frag rocket. I don't even know. That was funny. Fob is right here, and they actually they had a guy right by it. It's just up here, so they know it's here. Unless they weren't able to get the contact. Oh, they're totally getting flanked. Here comes Kirkley, Rev, and Tear Gun. Frags did get tossed over. Kirkley's tossing another one. Kirkley's command, by the way, so he's leading this little strike force in. Oh, is Kirkley going in by himself? He's got Rev covering him on the other side. Jayla Chappelle goes down. Rev shoots him. There's a good chance Matt. Yep, Magnetics is changing his view. Magnetic. He's the last one. He's the last one. Let's see. Let's check out his angle. Thing is, he's got two doors. Oh, nope, only one. One door. Kirkley's going to pick him. Let's hope Kirkley doesn't show him his gun first. Yeah, Kirkley's got it. He's he knows he's learned. He's fig oh grenade. Bye bye. Where'd he go? <laughs> he ran. Said see ya. Makes Netix got hit once. No. Oh, he's down. They got him. They got him. Did he get Kirkley though? He did. He got Kirkley. That's it. That's oh. GG. Jesus. Fucking hell. United States wins. Good job by the insurgents. Uh, good, good, good. So round one's over. That was Operation Stampede. As you can see, the insurgents didn't stampede hard enough. That's all right, because we're still giving away a, a game of squad tonight. So stick around. We've only got one more round to go, and then we're going to give it away to anyone who has talked in chat. So if you talk in chat right now, it doesn't matter if you just type A and hit enter. You'll be entered for the to win this. And it's just whoever the it, the dice rolls. There's no advantage, no disadvantage. That's it's just just random. But we're going to do round two. These guys are going to switch sides. Uh, this is a squad Ops One Life event. We're on Albasra, Operation Stampede. Round one went to the U.S. And it's it's hard for the insurgents to, 
to coordinate and win. So we'll see how Kirkley does on the insurgent side as command. And we'll see how Karma Cut does on the US as a defender. As a defender. So we're going to return shortly. Uh, these guys are already switched teams. They've already made their squads. They're briefing right now. So five minutes or so, we'll be rocking and rolling again. And that's all it's going to take.